Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download and install ANSYS 2021 R2 student version. It is really easy, we just have to search in Google ANSYS uh, 2021 student version and after that you have to click on the first link that appears. In here, if we scroll down a little bit, uh, we will see several tabs. ANSYS Student, ANSYS LS Dyna, ANSYS Electronics and some other uh, we have to click on ANSYS Student then we will go to this page uh, I will put the link of this page uh, on the description part below this video uh, so you can easily come to this page uh, in here as you can see we have a big yellow button which says download uh, ANSYS student 2021 R2 uh, you should know that uh, you need at least uh, 7.5 gigabyte uh, empty space and the license of this version is valid until next year so if we click on it we can save it uh, on our computer Meanwhile, let's uh, see what other information we can get in this page. Uh, in here, we have installation steps. Uh, as you can see, we have to extract uh, the zip file and then click on setup. I will explain this part later. Uh, in system requirement uh, requirements tabs, uh, we can see that we need a Windows 10 we need at least 4 GB RAM and 25 GB hard drive uh, also in problem size limits uh, we can see that for structural physics uh, physics we can only use 128 thousand nodes or elements and for fluid physics we can only use uh, 512 thousand cells or not the license duration of uh, this student version is uh, 12 months and the uh, modules and uh, softwares that are included in this package are ANSYS Workbench, ANSYS Mechanical, ANSYS CFX, ANSYS Fluent, Design Modelers, Space Claim and all uh, other modules that we need another interesting thing in this page is that we can uh, download some older versions um, for example we can download ANSYS student 2021 R1 or uh, we can download ANSYS student 2020 R2 now I have the file in my computer uh, we have to right click on it and uh, extract it to ANSYS academic student folder uh, after that we will have this folder if we click on it uh, we can see the setup file we have to right click on it on setup and then we have to select run as administrator okay uh, in this window we have to select I agree then we have to click on next and now we have to uh, we have to select the directory that we want our program to be installed in this part uh, it can be any folder or any uh, drive then we have to uncheck this part if we select it all workbench files that we have in our computer by default will be opened by this version of ANSYS and because it's a student version you may have some problems uh, to use those workbench files with uh, with older versions of ANSYS so it's better to uh, uh, uncheck this part then we have to click on next and then the installation will start okay it's done uh, now we have to click on finish and exit 
then if we search in Windows if we search uh, Workbench 2021 uh, we can see here Workbench 2021 or 2 uh, we have to click on it it takes a little bit time to uh, start to run the program for the first time okay awesome good uh, as you can see everything has been installed uh, perfectly without any problem uh, the only thing that is important is that uh, the icons of these modules uh, have been changed uh, I'm not sure uh, about the reason but they have uh, some kind of dark theme style or something like that uh, there isn't any problem with the program also I will put uh, an extremely useful telegram channel link below in the description there are lots of free contents and educational files uh, in this channel uh, which can help you to learn ANSYS easily uh, okay that was it thank you for watching